Okay, so this is the exterior of 2100 Rini or Rini. Um, I would say that definitely one of the first things I would do would be remove the giant overgrown bushes that are totally obscuring the ability to see the house. So I think probably the history on this would be that it was at one point a single family home, but it has since been turned into a triplex. You can definitely see a little deterioration on the wood siding up at the top there. So that valley probably needs um, some flashing and you've got some areas of the siding that need some paint added, but overall pretty good. You can see a ton of concrete along the bottom. So you're not going to have a lot of foundation or termite issues there. You can see some areas that have been repaired and some areas that just need a little love. A ton of yard space. I'll back up a little bit so that you can see the house a bit better from this side. So you do have this nice big chimney and the window units and then this fence along the back. I'm assuming it goes back to the far fence line, but I will check. And you've got all this big open space. So it's really going to appeal to someone who doesn't want to be in a traditional duplex where, you know, they don't have in a yard space and they don't have you know any space to call their own this really has a massive yard and a great ability to feel like you're living in a single family home even though you're not and then there's this storage shed to the back here Second little fenced in area, which would be great if someone had a dog. The roof on the storage shed looks to be of a pretty good age. Could definitely stand to get a new coat of paint, but not a huge deal. Concrete floor to the storage shed. And then you back to all these woods, so it's gonna give almost a country feel with how much space you have and the woods. All right. Okay, this is unit B. This is the lower level basement unit or the garden unit, as these are referred to. It is a one bedroom, so you have a closet back there windows. The carpet's actually in pretty good shape. So you really wouldn't have to do much to this at all. This is linoleum, but it's perfectly nice. You have big, beautiful windows here, bringing in lots and lots of light. Window there. And these really cool antique cabinets white appliances all right and then from here over you'll notice that this is a locked door this is the shared area so this staircase goes up to unit c which is the larger unit and you've got the water heater in here.
and the furnace in here. Now, you will notice that because they share the water heater, the furnace, the utilities have to be included in these because there's no real separating them out. Here's the bathroom. So this unit uses this bathroom, which is a private bathroom for this unit, but it's accessed through the shared hallway. It's a little bit different. Then we have the shared laundry room. And this is only shared between unit B and C. Unit A does not have access to the laundry room. And then they also have a deep freeze in here. Okay. And I'll go once more all the way through. Just in case you missed anything. Oh, like I don't think we opened this closet. Closet under the stairs. And that's it. Okay, here I am in the front room of unit C. And you can see it's got this great wood burning fireplace. You have beautiful hardwood floors under the carpet. Little parquet at the front door. Really big front window. Lots of privacy with these big bushes. Or you can take it out and get lots of light. Your choice. Here we have the separate dining room and the stairs going up. This direction we have a closet over the stairs. And the screened in back porch with the uncovered deck as well for grilling. Um, back beyond there is the old um, pool area. The pool's no longer there. Um, that little fenced area could be taken down and just replaced with another fence for if someone had a pet at some point. Then we've got the kitchen. It is an Eden kitchen. There's the sink, dishwasher, cooktop and the double oven. All right, now we will go upstairs. Hardwood under the stairs as well. And we've got three bedrooms up here and one bathroom. So here's the beautiful hardwood and the nice pretty bedroom. And it has a step-in closet. And your attic scuttle is up there as well. One more look at the bedroom. And then you have the bathroom here. There's the tub. Double vanity. You have an actually pretty attractive linoleum under the carpet. So that should be pretty easy. And then the stool and the shower. And the linen closet. And then here you have the master bedroom, hardwood under everything, king size bed, corner windows, and the master closet. All right, and then the third bedroom is technically a non-conforming bedroom because it lacks a closet, but the MLS now allows us to call these bedrooms regardless of the lack of closet. All right, that's it for this one.